It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on an Andy Griffith Show actor who lied about his music uh, uh, capability. To get a role on the show, I'm sure you can guess who that was, <laughs> uh, because I've talked about it before. But let's take a look. Um, you do know that the Andy Griffith uh, loved to play guitar, right? In fact, several episodes of the show featured him playing the guitar. But Andy didn't hog all the music spotlight. The Andy Griffith Show featured several musical acts, including uh, during episodes of the show, including the Darlings a musically inclined family that lived in a mountain shack somewhere near Mayberry. There's one performer that stands out among the rest, and not because of his musical talent. The episode's titled The Guitar Player and The Guitar Player Returns features actor James Best as Jim Lindsay, a skilled musician who visits Mayberry. Well, he visits the second time he lived there the first one. Uh, during the episode, the guitar player's picking skills are featured several times, and Sheriff Taylor is quite impressed by the man. However, in real life, Best could not play a lick. In fact, he lied to producers in order to land the part on the show. Uh, reports say producers of the Andy Griffith show called Best and offered him a guest starring role on the show. The only thing they asked was, can you play guitar? And Best replied, are you kidding? I have two guitars. So producers took his word for it and cast him for the role. However, when Best arrived on the set and was handed a guitar, he had to fess up. Obviously, producers weren't happy and claimed that he lied. However, Best quickly corrected them. I said I had two guitars. Nevertheless, the Andy Griffith Show producers made it work with a little editing magic. Editors were able to replace the songs with sounds from Barney Castle, the guitarist of the Wrecking Crew. And if you aren't familiar with the Wrecking Crew, they were legendary. Uh, some of the best uh, studio musicians ever. Uh, they backed bands including the Beach Boys and the Monkees on studio recordings. Barney Kessel played guitar for Sonny and Cher as the beat goes on. Kessel and Best worked together to create a realistic depiction of guitar playing during the episodes. However, uh, some of us fans notice a discrepancy in the scene. During the performance at the beginning of the guitar player returns, Best drums an acoustic guitar. However, when you listen to the song, it's obviously an electric guitar that Kessel's playing. In reality, even if Best did know how to play the guitar, he didn't stand a chance against Barney Kessel's skills. So it all worked out in the end. Jim Best got a part on the Andy Griffith Show, and the show got a successful guitar player, just in a different way. And uh, it wasn't the only hint, the sound of the guitar, uh, playing an acoustic and hair and electric, but he was the absolute great actor. But absolute worst person ever that I've ever seen try to fake guitar. It didn't look nothing like it should have. Only one person that comes close to that is Anson Williams from Happy Days played Potsy. Terrible. <laughs> Why do he just, I don't know. I'm a musician, so this bugs me. Yeah. Anyway, um, appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget classic sitcoms. Uh, Facts and Trivia, uh, head on over there. The link is in the description below. Um, today's video over there is on Robert Young and how he suffered um, depression, uh, a bouts of alcoholism, and uh, actually was suicidal at one point. Uh, something I just found out today, actually. So go, go give that a look and see what you think. And uh, don't forget the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia will be running reruns my reruns, video reruns, um, on the uh, Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia uh, Facebook page. Uh, or And I'm also posted on the Andy Griffith Show Facebook page. So you can go to either one of those to uh, check out the ones that I'm picking out. Or you can just go over there yourself and, and pick one out yourself and take a look. And if you have not yet subscribed over there, please do. We're very close to that 1,000 uh, subscriber mark. That's all I got for you.
Have a great day. God bless, and uh, I'll be praying for you.